тому що було багато розстріляно ж машин, і транспорту, і поїздів, які вивозили біженців. That's how Vita describes her escape from Ukraine. The corpses of her fellow countrymen littering the ditches along her journey from Kremenchuk near Kharkiv to the Polish border remind her of the risk she took fleeing the country. Так, це для мене був дуже важкий вибір. Ну, я не пожаліла про нього. On March 19th, Vita and her children of 12 and 18 finally reached Italy. Кордон Польщі нас привезли в центр біженців. Це було десь о першій годині ночі. Вони спросили, в яку країну ми хочемо поїхати. Ми сказали, що хочемо в Італію. І вони направили нас до людей, які займаються переселенням біженців на Італію. Потім нам, там нас, нас оформили і сказали, що вранці приїдуть з Італії волонтери, які будуть вас забирати. Так, приїхали люди, було чотири мікроавтобуси чорних, якась волонтерська організація Італії їх направила туди. Дорога була довга, ми їхали 27 годин. Нас спочатку привезли в Рим, в Червоний Хрест. Vita is one of the 102 people, mostly women and children, who've been given a home in one of the 23 structures that have received Ukrainian refugees through a project launched by Caritas Rome together with the Italian Civil Protection Department. The prefecture gave us the list of people and family members that had to be brought into our buildings. So we went to look for these people and we physically moved them from the hotel to the parish or an available religious institute. From that moment on, we began that path of walking together. The project is not limited to finding a home for refugees, but follows them to assist in their integration into the host country. For example, there are families that have been separated by the prefecture that must be reunited. There are situations in which some families want to return as soon as possible to Ukraine, rightly so, and so they don't want to send their children to school. They continue doing remote learning from Ukraine. On the one hand, this is very nice because it keeps that active link, but it doesn't lead to integration. The problems that need to be faced are very complicated. Caritas Rome was able to actively respond to the flood of refugees leaving Ukraine as early as last March, since they had previous experience handling these types of emergencies. We are part of a process called widespread welcome that the church in Rome has been experimenting with for years, especially since 2015. Pope Francis called us to open our own homes, convents, monasteries, religious institutions, parishes. This is an effort that has been going on for some years. So when we launched this call to welcome, to encounter and be close to these people, we found fertile ground. One of the parishes offering lodging and financial support is St. Corbinian's, where Vita and her children have found the peace they longed for when they left Ukraine behind. Сразу в перший день війни його забрали на війну воювати. Я залишилась з дітьми сама. Я не, ну, коли постійно звучали ці сирени, і ночі, і днем. Ну, мені страшно було. Мої батьки теж далеко, вони в другій області, в Сумській. І я буквально залишилась з дітьми сама. Дуже комфортно насправді, дуже комфортно. Ми вже звикли, тобто нас нічого не турбує, нам все подобається. Звичайно, я не жалію, що я приїхала сюди, що зараз мої діти в безпеці сплять спокійно.